to my channel. If this is your first time here, a welcome, welcome, welcome to all returning subscribers. Thank you so much for the continued support. So this has been a popular request. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give it to you guys. So everybody wants to know, hold on, I didn't even turn on my light. Yes, okay. So a lot of people wanna know like, what are the food spots that I recommend? Cause y'all know I'm a foodie. I make no secret of that. I love food. I will not get back to my size one, my 170 pounds. It's just not gonna happen. I'm gonna do what I can though. I'm trying to get back on my um, healthy eating kicks. So I'm actually gonna, um, I might vlog that because listen, let me fix my camera a little bit. Okay, so. You guys know that I am an avid foodie. I make it no secret. So um, since we've all been in quarantine, like everywhere you go has to be like curbside pickup. We can't go in and sit and eat no more. We can't congregate with our friends. We can't congregate with our family. Like this is torture. But um, I know that Texas is actually starting to open up slowly but surely. So I'm not gonna be going in anywhere and sitting down anytime soon. But I know that some people may be ready. They may not be able to. Um, some people just can't wait. They can't, um, can't handle it. So I don't know, as soon as you can go out, are you just gonna go do so? Or are you waiting a little bit longer? Are you gonna give it some time? Or are you gonna like let the guinea pigs go out and, and do it and you're just gonna sit back and wait and see what happens? Like, what are you guys gonna do? Let me know. But anyway, this has been a popular request on the food, the food spots that I like. But um, before we get to that, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for your guys' support. Like, I love y'all, y'all are so dope. I am like at over 800 subscribers. That is crazy. Like, I know I be telling my husband like, oh my gosh, like, like he makes fun of me because I be like, oh my God, babe. He be like, I know, you got some subscribers. I be like so excited, like just to see people, you know what I'm saying, who just actually want to see me and see what I have to talk about. Like that is just, you guys don't even know, like I'm so humble, like that is so dope to me. But anyway, so let's talk about the food spots that I recommend in Dallas. So I've heard mixed reviews. You have some people who are from, here's the thing, all over the country, there's different places that are known for different things, okay? LA is known for um, pastrami, fish, tacos. So I instantly have a love for tacos. Like I, I have a shirt that's talk, that talks about tacos. <laughs> Yeah, I don't do Taco Tuesdays. I do Taco Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday. So, um, yeah, so anywhere you go, it's known for something. Like, I know New York is known for, like, their pizzas and, like, their sandwiches. Like, Florida is known for their Caribbean cuisine. I don't know what the Midwest is known for. Um, Chicago, like, what, pizza? Um, I'm talking about, like, the mid, like, Nebraska and White Castle, maybe? Um, yeah. <laughs> I know that um, down south is southern. Um, west, southwest is known for like Tex-Mex and all that. So every region has something. Um, I know when I went to DC, they have uh, like the East Coast is like crab legs and um, crab cakes and all the other good stuff. So that everywhere you go is just something offered different. So. Where you come from, understand that that may not be what is in the next region. So don't knock it. You have to give it time. You have to find the places. You have to, you know, do your research. You have to go online. You have to ask people. Like there are so many places here that offer so much um, different types of food and type of cuisines. But I put on here some spots that I like that I have been to that I can vouch for because I'm not gonna recommend anything to you guys that I wouldn't go somewhere and eat myself. So I actually am gonna do another video that talks about the breakfast spots because I'm not the biggest, like I don't 
when I was in LA, I did, but I think it was just because I wanted to go out. But I'm not a person now that be like, let's go to breakfast. Like, I'll go to brunch. I love me some brunch because I love chicken and waffles. Every time I go somewhere, literally, if you see what I, I always order chicken and waffles. Like, I'm like a chicken and waffles connoisseur. So I go literally to do, I feel like it's something in my eyes. So if y'all see me doing this, it's because I feel like I see something. But um, I love chicken and waffles. So I'm always trying to go somewhere and see who has the best chicken and waffles. And as of right now, Whistle Bridges is killing the game. They have the best chicken and waffles i'm sorry i haven't had any best since them so i'm gonna go to this other place but anyway get off track um here are 15 best spots that i like to go to oh so as i was saying i'm not a big breakfast person so i don't just go any i'm like all over the place today you guys it's, i have my final today for math so i'm a little um anxious and I'm like a little just ah, all discombobulated so um, you guys are getting the raw version of me right now so just please bear with me um, but yeah I'm not a person that just be like yeah I want eggs I want grits I want like I don't be like I need breakfast like my husband is a breakfast person he'd be like don't you want to go to breakfast and I'd be like no and he'd be like let's go get pancakes and I'd be like I can, I can make you eggs I can make you bacon I can make grits. I can make smothered potatoes. Like, I can make a, a cup of fruit. Like, I don't want to pay $4 for three pieces of bacon. I don't want to pay $5 for a bowl of fruit. I don't want to pay $3.50 for a bowl of grits. Like, I just feel like, to me, breakfast I can make at home, so it's a waste of money to me now. Um, like, lunch and dinner, I can't replicate those things that the chefs be making, so I prefer to go out more for that. But in terms of like breakfast, I'm like, oh, that's what I can make. Granola, I know how to make homemade granola. So I can make smoothies. Like I can make chicken sausage. I can make turkey sausage. Like all these things to me, I can make. So I'm not going to go out my way and go spend like $50 on the whole family eating breakfast. And then too, like it'd be crowded. So I'm one of the people who need to get up early and go to breakfast because I don't want to have to wait for, you know, the church crowd that gets out or the late get up or crowd that gets up after like 10 and 11 o'clock and then they want to go and then you're sitting there waiting for an hour and a half and I'm starving and I get real irritated. I become like Tasmanian devil when I'm hungry. So just to alleviate all of that, I just, I'm not a big breakfast person. I don't go out for breakfast like that. I can make you a steak and eggs at home. But my husband loves breakfast. So compromise, we go to brunch. We do brunch. So this video is going to be about the favorite lunch hole in the wall joints that I like to go to. Um, I have actually been to all of them. And oh, I'm writing one down, I just remembered. I, so these are places that I recommend that you can go, that you can get some good food. Um, they're hole in the wall spots. I haven't even done the um, chain spots because I'm trying to give y'all the hole in the wall spots because I don't know about y'all, but I'm a, I love me a good hole in the wall spot. So if I can go there, I'd rather go eat a hole in the wall spot than to go spend money at an expensive restaurant because I want to get full. So, and I want to have leftovers for tomorrow. So I, hold on, <laughs> I, keep, I keep thinking of food spots as I'm talking that I want to share with you guys. Okay, so, um, uh, yeah, so here are some spots that I recommend that you go to and try, and I guarantee that you will not be disappointed, okay? So, first spot I'm gonna, I just wrote this down. If you are in the Collin County area, there is a hibachi truck in Princeton off of Highway 380 and Lowry's Crossing, and they have the best hibachi chicken food. They have a combo where you can get chicken, steak, uh, fried rice, vegetables, grilled onions with some yum yum sauce, and literally it's like 13 bucks. So if you go to Benihana's, that's gonna be about 28 bucks. So they have salmon, they have chicken, they have steak, 
they have egg rolls they have stuff for the kids but it's a little food truck and it is super cute so try that out you guys will love that like i always tell them to put extra butter in my rice and on my steak you know how they do that um, um at benihana's so they always hook me up um we all love them their food is super fresh they have really good fried rice so i highly recommend the hibachi truck in princeton off of 380 and Laurie's crossing Louisiana chicken. So this is a branch from LA. Louisiana fried chicken. There, it's a net. Oh God. Okay. So um, Louisiana fried chicken. Uh, the original one. If you're from anywhere in the LA area, you know that the original is off of Manchester and Normandy. But I heard they got shut down because they had rats. But to uh, Texas people's pleasure, they have one in Mesquite. So this Louisiana fried chicken, you know what? Listen, listen, when it starts getting warm, we start getting gnats because they are trying to come in because it's humid outside. But anyway, so I'm sorry, I told y'all I'm just coming up. I'm told you I'm all over the place today. <laughs> y'all might like this side of me. Cause normally I'm like, hi, how are you? And today I'm like, anyway. <laughs> All right, okay, so Louisiana fried chicken. So the Louisiana fried chicken is off of Highway 30 near the Walmart. Um, if you guys know where that is, then if you know, you know. But if not, just look it up um, online, Louisiana fried chicken. It's literally in the same um, center as the Walmart. So they have bomb fried chicken, fries, rolls, um, fried rice. So when I went there, Cause my brother lived in Mesquite. So I went there and I told the guy like, you know that they have these in LA? He said, yeah, my dad actually used to live in LA and he sold his house and we moved out here and he opened one out here. And I was like, I'm telling you. So Louisiana fried chicken, it's the joint, it's the spot. They seasoning, their batter, everything is good. And it's, it's such a nice, um, nostalgic feeling like for us LA people who get to have you know a little taste of home I've been eating they used to have the dollar fifty snack pack which y'all know about that um I don't know if they do now because you know I can afford more than a snack pack now so I usually get like two breasts and uh, you know I share with the baby or Jordan or whatever but um so they have a Louisiana fried chicken out here so whoever has not been there please try it it's really good I promise you'll like it I promise okay Sharks, this is for you Midwest from Chicago folks. We got a Sharks here. I don't know if you know that or not, but yes, we do. It's off of, shoot. What street is it off? I can't even look on my phone because I'm, I'm using my phone. Um, It's off of any other time I know that street. Not Walnut. Um, Forest, it's off of Forest Lane. So Sharks is off of Forest Lane. So look up Sharks Fish. Um, it's in the hood. It is in a hood strip mall where the Aldi is. It's right next to a liquor store. It is worth it. Now, don't go by yourself at 8 o'clock at night. I don't recommend that. But people go there and it's like a, <laughs> it's a hole in the wall. <laughs> like I promise it is a hole in the wall. But they food be on point they put like lemon pepper seasoning on top of your fish i don't really like the lemon pepper seasoning like that so i tell them don't either don't put it on it or go easy but my husband loves it but their shrimp is bomb so they have really good tartar sauce really good fried fish really good shrimp they have good chicken so it's sharks fish and chicken i want to say so <coughs> excuse me look that up they are bomb too. I know they're closed right now because we tried to go a couple of weeks ago because I was going to vlog it and they were closed due to the um, COVID. So, um, COVID 19. So, but put that on your list, Sharks. I'm pretty sure that once everything starts to open back up, that they will be back as well. So, Sharks, fish, and chicken. Fat Wings. So, there's a place called Fat Wings in Mesquite that's off of Gus Thomason Road. I want to say it's Gus Thomason Road. Don't quote me, but just look up Fat Wings. It's spelled P H A T Wings. Their wings are huge. They don't give you the little drumettes or the flats like Wingstop. They give you actual wings, the kind that you got to fold yourself. So, they give you really, and it's black owned. It's really good, um, very flavorful. They give you a whole bunch of different flavors. They have really good sides. They have really good baked beans, 
really good fries. So their food is really good. So Fat Wings in Mesquite, Texas. Twisted Root Burger. Now this was one of the first places that I came to when I came to Texas and had lunch. Um, I'm a huge cheeseburger lover. So I, in, being from LA, love turkey burgers. But coming here, you know, they don't, they have turkey burgers, but if you're from LA or been to LA, then you know what I'm talking about when I tell you the difference in the turkey burgers. Like the turkey burgers in LA, they actually hand pack them. Like they do all, all this and stuff. Whereas here, it's kind of like just the turkey patty. So I don't really like getting turkey burgers here. I haven't really been able to find a place that I got. I like their turkey burger, except Twisted Root. So um, I like Twisted Root Burger. They have been on like, um, I think Guy Fieri's show or the, the um, what's the show on the cooking channel? Is it is it Guy's show? The, the Max Dive show? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, it's been on there. So they had a lot of, they had branch. The first one and the original one is in Deep Ellum. So that's what I'm telling you to go to because they have other locations that they have now closed. So they still have one in Richardson, but I don't recommend going there. Go to the original one in Deep Ellum. So their little joint is really cute. Um, they have a rooftop seating. I mean, I just like going to that one. I just like it for the ambiance, for the experience, for the vibe. Um, they have hammock. Listen, I wasn't even a big pickle eater until I came to Texas. So at Twisted Root, they have, they make their own fresh homemade drinks. So they had like this watermelon iced tea. They had like this orange cream soda. Like they make different drinks and they put it in the fountain. So they do a, a different one like every day or every week or something. So that was cool. And when they call you, they give you a little tab. And then when they call you, you're like a different name. So like one time I was like Elastigirl. Another time I was like Lucy. One time I was like, uh, one time uh, Charles was Spider-Man. Like they, they call different, your different name. So instead of calling my name, Carlotta, like they was, Elastigirl, your order's ready. So, and then they be like, Elastigirl. Like they're so animated and their service is so impeccable. They have a bar. So it's really actually fun to go to after you finish going to the club or if you're going to like the movies, if you're going like on a girl's night or a date night, like it's really a dope because I tell people, I tell you all the time, like Deep Ellum is bomb. Like I love Deep Ellum because it's very artsy. It's very fun. It's very hip. It's very swanky. It's really cool. So they have all these little cool spots that you can go and eat at and Twisted Root is one of them. So go there. So they have these homemade pickles. And my favorite one is like the sweet and spicy. So basically you, they have like these big jugs. That's about, no lie about this big. And they just make homemade pickles, like Kool-Aid pickles, uh, sweet and spicy pickles, um, atomic pickles, like sriracha pickles. Like they have all kind of stuff that you can pick. And when you order your burger, it's like all kind of different food and you tell them exactly what you want on the burger. So it's really a good joint. Like I've been going there for 12 years. I haven't been in a, a, a couple of years, but it is really a dope joint. Please go there. If you want to have a good burger with a good experience, I recommend Twisted Root Burger in Deep Ellum. I'm crossing out as I go. Big Tony's Cheese Steaks in Allen, Texas. Now they have opened up a couple other branches, but I know that the Allen location is the original. So I'm gonna tell y'all a quick little story that I experienced my first time going. Okay, so I went to, um, cause I was like in a mood for a cheese steak and I was like, Dallas don't have no good cheese steaks. They ain't got cheese steaks out here like that. So um, a friend of mine recommended going to Big Tony. And when I went in there, there was a guy in front of me and he, um, it was Big Tony who actually was taking the orders. He's he's from Philly, um, so he came down here and opened up shops. So um, they make the burgers, I mean burgers, they make the cheesesteaks authentic. So they have like, I don't know, 30 different ones. And you'd be like, I want number one. With Woody Woo. I think I get like the number 18. I don't know, the one I get, I get the cheesesteak with the cheese, onions, bell peppers, um, and like the little sauce. Yeah. And, and it's like, I get, yeah. So it's pretty, it's really good. Their cheese, their cheesesteak is really good. But anyway, so the story is, so basically when I went in there, there was a young man in front of me. Um, he maybe was about 22, give or take. And, um, Tony was like, you know, what would you like to order? And he was like, well, um, I really, I'm not here to order. And he, you know, he was talking low. 
he was like i'm not here to order he was like um i just want to know if you were hiring because um, i lost my job and i don't have any income and i just need to know if you just need me to do anything that i can wash dishes i can mop the floors like i can you know clean the tables you know just if you have anything i just want to know um if you would keep me in mind you know if, if i can give you my, my resume and, and big tony was like um he was like, okay, he was like, um, I'll keep you in mind. He was like, but in the meantime, go ahead and put your jacket back there and we'll find something for you to do. And I was like, like right there, like I experienced that right there. Like even now, like it makes me tear up because I just, I know what it feels like to be in that position. So when that happened, you got to humble yourself and to ask just to go say, I'll do anything just to, you know, earn a living or be, you don't know the person's situation. They could be hungry, you know, and then and then Tony was like, you know, have you ate today? And he was like, no, sir. And he was like, okay, go go ahead and pick out whatever you want on the menu. We're going to feed you and we're going to, you know, find something for you to do. And he was like, okay. So I ordered my food and I told him, I was like, I said, I said, that, that was really noble of you. That was really awesome. And he was like, you know, he was like, we got to take care of our youth. You know what I'm saying? So, and the thing is, um, he was a white boy, you know, and, and Tony Black. So it just go to show like he, it, just, it doesn't matter, you know. You, we're supposed to love each other for what we are and who we are and uh, we're in a world that ain't like that but you know I just thought that that was very kind very very kind of him so I actually gave him $20 and said you know when he's done give him this 20 you know what I'm saying so um yeah that was a good experience because of that I stand for this place I stand for Tony I stand for the spot I stand for his joint because I experienced not just good food but good service and 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 his and his heart so anybody who got a heart like that is good in my book and I will refer people to their place so big Tony's cheesesteaks in Allen Texas Whistle Bridges. I don't really know if I even need to go into that because I did a video about them. They are amazing. Um, I can't wait to go back. I miss them so much. I love their chicken and waffles. They have the best that I've had to date. I haven't been able to find any spot that's better than Whistle Bridges yet. So if y'all know of a chicken and waffle spot out here that is better, y'all let me know. Like, I, I, I mean, argue me, fight me. I, I think they got the best. But Whistle Bridges, Plano, Texas at Willow Bend Mall. For all you taco lovers, so Del Sur Mexican Grill in McKinney, Texas. It's a little hole in a wall. It's inside of a gas station. They have the best carne asada meat. Their meat is amazing. And I'm really funny about um, carne asada because you ever buy the kind of tacos and you begin gristle and all of that other stuff, that like will turn me off. So Del Sur's tacos, their meat is amazing. They also sell breakfast tacos as well. It's inside of a gas station. So you need to get gas, go run you in and get you some quick tacos or you can go get your tacos. They have a little couple of seats in there or you can just go outside and park your car in a little parking lot and you can sit and eat your tacos there as well. Really, really, really good tacos. Um, for you people who are in the inner city, more in the inner city, uh, Fuel City Tacos. I think everybody in Dallas knows about this place. I don't know if I really need to go into detail, but for all of you transplants, Fuel City Tacos is in Dallas. It's right across the street from downtown Dallas. Um, it's like animals in the back of it, and you can see the little animals. You can go in and order your tacos. It's cash only, so bring cash. Um, they be outside with the elote truck. Um, they be out there just hanging. Like, that's the spot to go after you go to the club. So, um, I heard it's not as um, safe as it once was. I don't know. But see, that's when I'll go on a Saturday at 12 o'clock to make sure that I'm going at not the so peak time. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I've heard from a couple of people. But um, Fuel City Tacos in Dallas, amazing. Okay, sorry. I had to take a little water break and get the baby some food because you know he wants snacks every 30 minutes. Um, so yeah, that's Fuel City Tacos. Um, I highly recommend it, even if um, you're going on like a quick little road trip for the day, if you coming through Dallas, like stop pull over. It's a truck spot, it's a car wash, it's a gas station. Um, it's <laughs> damn near a, a, pet, a viewing zoo. And it's a liquor store and it's a taco shop all in one. So you can't, you can't, you can't, um, can't beat that. So A&D Buffalo in McKinney, Texas. 
Andy Buffalo's is also my second favorite uh, cheesesteak spot. They have really good cheesesteaks. Um, I usually get the cheesesteak and the lemon pepper wings, but you can get cheesesteak fries, you can get cheesesteak uh, fried, um, fried rice, you can get teriyaki chicken fried rice. Like it's a it's a um, Chinese spot with cheesesteaks and hot wings. So they have all kind of hot wing flavors. They have che different type of cheesesteaks. And then they have um, the Chinese food too. So that's really good. It's off of uh, Highway 5 and El Dorado Boulevard. So A&D Buffalo. So Pizza Plaza in McKinney. I'm sorry. Pizza Plaza in Princeton, Texas. It's a little hole in the wall. There's literally one man working in there. It's a one man shop show. Um, he uses all fresh ingredients. His pizza is really good. He has the best pizza to me in the Collin, in the North Collin County area. Not North Collin, um, the East Collin County area. He has the best pizza in my opinion. If you guys know any other pizza spots that you should want me to try so I can tell y'all if I like it or not, let me know. But as far as I know, Pizza Plaza is a really good pizza spot. They, he is a little expensive, but it is worth the money because like I said, it's all fresh ingredients. Winner's Barbecue in Plano, Texas. Winner's Barbecue, I know, was started by a guy, I wanna say, that played pro ball and he turned around and opened a business up. Um, and the last time I went there, I think he sold the business. But as far as I know, the food is really good. Um, they have the best brisket. They have this five meat baked potato where you can get like sausage, chicken, turkey, ribs, and all of that goes into a baked potato, which is like with cheese and sour cream and um, chives and all that stuff. And then they take the meat and they chop it up and then they just go. <sighs> um, I, if you go on my Instagram, there is a picture of that potato about maybe a year ago. But I, I posted a picture and I put it on there. A lot of these places that I'm talking about, I actually have pictures on my Instagram from when I, whenever I have went. Um, but yes, Winner's Barbecue to me is the closest barbecue spot that I like the best. You have a lot of people who will argue and say Hutchins Barbecue is the best place. I don't think so. I don't really care for Hutchins Barbecue. I like um, Rudy's Barbecue, which is in Allen, and I like Winner's Barbecue, which is in Plano. So try both of those and let me know what you think. Barbecue is pricey, um, brisket is pricey, so do not expect to go there and get you a little $5 meal. Um, I know that Winners, when I went last time, I actually did post a video. Um, it's the one with me driving across the lake. If you look at the next picture, the next slide, it's actually of my food from Winners. I had got a brisket sandwich with some baked beans and potato salad, and my total came to maybe like 10 bucks. So that's really a really good spot too. Um, so Rudy's Barbecue um, and Allen, I mean, sorry, in Fairview, and then Winner's Barbecue in Plano. Now, this is a place that I have not been to in a long time. It's called Sweet Georgia Browns in Oak Cliff. Um, they have the best soul food I probably have had, honestly. So, when I first moved to Texas, I used to go there every Sunday and it was to the point where two dudes knew my face and one was like, you back again? I'm like, don't do me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so Sweet Georgia Browns is in the hood. It is bullet holes through the doors. So it's hood. But go on a Saturday at 12 o'clock. Like, don't go at six on a Friday. Like, just go when it's a good time. Um, Sundays is usually cool. Um, Sundays, it gets packed. The line will be out the door. The line will be out the door. I'm not playing. Like, it's off of uh, 75 and you get off on, um, Google the address. Sweet Georgia Browns in Oak Cliff. It's Oak Cliff or it'll, it'll either say Oak Cliff or Dallas. But Sweet Georgia Browns is going to come up. No questions asked. Um, but their food is definitely like cafeteria style so whenever I would go I would get the uh, I would get baked chicken with dressing mac and cheese greens yams oh my god they have kool-aid they have like bomb peach cobbler they oh I haven't been here so long it's been like maybe seven years I need to make a trip down here um but me and my daughter used to, we literally would have that food and eat on it for like three days. Me and her would have one order of food and we would share on it for like two or three days. Like that, it was that much food. They give you so much food. So the total came to like 20 bucks. 
but it was enough food. Like they fry fish, they fish is sitting there. Like they have everything. They have everything, dressing, greens. They got broccoli and cheese casserole. They got yams, they got cornbread, they got stuffing, they got gravy, they got um, baked turkey wings, they got fried chicken, they got literally everything. I'm gonna go in there Yelp and look at pictures when I finish this. But Sweet Georgia Browns, hands down to me, is bomb. Um, I highly recommend going there if you're in the mood for some really down home, southern, lard, clog your arteries, be on the bed, be in the bed for the rest of the weekend. Like, it's that. It's that. They, they not healthily cooking greens. They cooking that in some, I don't know, broth and bacon and i don't know they is it is honestly probably i'm i'm a i like good gravy and i don't eat everybody's gravy they're smothered chicken they put the smothered chicken on top of the dressing and then they just like pour this gravy all on top oh it's just so good it's orgasmic their peach cobbler bomb and i don't eat everybody's peach cobbler i'll be telling my husband this like me and my husband be going back and forth because he'd be like peach cobbler, peach cobbler. i'm like no Peach cobbler is not just peach cobbler. Everybody can't make it. You know how you get the kind where you gotta have like that crust. I eat peach cobbler for the crust. I don't eat it for the peaches. I eat it for the crust and how the juices just sop up with it and you put the cinnamon and the nutmeg and the sugar and just, whoo! Sweet Georgia Browns, Oak Cliff, Dallas, Texas. Smokey John's Barbecue in Dallas. They are off of, I wanna say Northwest Highway, um, but they are near Love Field. So Smokey John's is also cafeteria style barbecue spot, but they also have soul food. They have really good um, barbecue. Um, I, I believe they're black owned as well. They also do catering. I haven't been there in a few years either because I got fat. Like, listen, I done got fat, so I can't eat the way I was eating because 12 years it is done piled it on and I'm like trying to figure out how to get it off so I can't even be going to these spots to show y'all because I can't be eating like that you know what I'm saying I gotta do that like once a year but Smokey John's barbecue really good if you're looking for some um good barbecue so I gave y'all a good couple of barbecue spots um last but not least whiskers chicken and burgers they are near Trinity Groves um right past downtown um, I went there recently. I didn't vlog them because I had never been and my husband has been standing for them for quite some time, but I didn't um, I didn't vlog them because I, I needed to try it for myself. Like I'm not gonna vlog anywhere or talk about any place that I haven't been myself, but their food is so good. Like they got some really good filling uh, catfish. They got, their fries are really good. I heard their burgers is legit. I haven't had one of their burgers yet. So next time I go, I might get that. But it's a little hole in the wall shack. They accept cash only. Uh, I want to say it's a cash only. I think it's cash only. I want to say it's cash only. It is cash only. Yes. So I think you can either. Yeah. So it's cash. You got to go in with cash. Go in with cash. So it's a little shack. Um, black owned. Um, really nice people. Um, like I said, near Trinity Groves. So it's not hard. To, I'm sorry. I was hit the camera um it's not hard to find but go on like maybe a saturday afternoon because they're closed sundays so if you can go there during the week too you need to check their hours because i'm not sure of their hours i know we went around like two o'clock on a saturday but um they have a little spot where you can eat outside or you can sit in there and eat it's not a big area to eat in it's like literally a couple of stools so you have to just kind of be uncomfortable but while you're eating good so i mean pro con um so oh uh, yes whiskers fish and burgers in Dallas, Texas, near Trinity Groves. So this is 17 hole in the wall spots that I gave you that I personally recommend, that I like, that I support, that I totally will go to at any time. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment below. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I will be doing a couple of more videos. I will try to like compartmentalize um, the stuff that I, the kind of foods I'm talking about. Cause I'm gonna do a brunch video um, the next one, but I want to give y'all some good lunch spots in the meantime. Cause I know all of y'all been asking me like, do y'all do you what you like this? Do what, you know where's the good spots at? Sis, where they at? Da, 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 da. So go on my Instagram. There's a lot of times that I post my food that I get. Um, it'll show you 
probably some of these ideas, but if not, I mean, some of these places I recommended, but if not, you can totally go on Yelp and Yelp has pictures, Yelp has reviews, um, but go try all these places for yourself and let me know what you think. Um, please follow me on Instagram at love some Lada, and I will talk to you guys on the next video. Okay, till next time. Mwah!